All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rokah, Padash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, citation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Now I want to hold on a second, one second. It's lucky. I just want to make this quick video on uh, this thing that I found where this guy had spoken to Alexa and they said uh, uh, Armwada or a fleet of chariots are coming towards Earth at light speed, right? Though, you know, if it may be a joke, whatever, you know what I mean? But the truth is that Yahweh Shai will return, okay? The truth is that Yahweh Shai is coming, and he's coming with thousands of chariots, man, to do much damage to this place. Damage to the uh, two-thirds that they didn't want to believe, they didn't want to follow the ways. And to Esau, Edom, these other nations, okay? So regardless of what they, if they want to make a joke, make light of it, or, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's true, Yahweh Shai is on his, on his way. He's returning. Okay, so let me play this real quick. Okie dokie then. Alexa, what did the James Webb telescope detect that is heading towards Earth? From gitbook.io, the James Webb telescope had spotted an armada of alien ships heading armada. toward Earth at near light speed. So he doesn't believe, he says, what? Okay, let me try this. So you see him, he's walking over, you know. He goes to his Alexa. Alexa, what did the James Webb telescope detect that is headed towards Earth? From gitbook.io, the James Webb telescope had spotted an armada of alien ships heading toward Earth at near light speed. Oh. Okie dokie then. So regardless of if it, you know, was fake or a joke or something like that, the truth is Yahweh Shah is returning, okay? And he's returning with them chariots, with thousands of angels, thousands of chariots, all right? Now, I just want to so show, you know, let me show you one here that I caught. But this one I caught, um, you know, moving slowly at night. The chariots are out there, man. This one here is moving slow at night. You zoom in. But when you zoom in on them, <laughs> some of them, when you zoom in on them, man, they just start turning different colors. And even now, if I was to pause it and try to zoom in on it, you'd see it turning... It looked different colors and whatnot, right? So that's that. Here's another one right here. Like this. I'm going I'm to show you something. So even if you zoom in like this, right? Let me uh, let the video run. You see it's shimmering, changing different lights, colors or whatever. Yeah, so regardless of if these people don't believe, they believe, whatever whatever the hell they want to think, okay? E.T. is coming, no. It's Yahweh Shai and the angels that are coming, man. And these chariots, thousands and thousands and thousands of chariots are on their way to this, uh, you know, place. We know that the fathership, as we say, the fathership will show up. And out of that fathership, thousands of, you know, chariots going get down, man. Get down and destroy this place, man. Like Apostle Elder Gabar always says, they're going to do the wapple zapple. So let's get into this real quick. Revelation chapter 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Those are the chariots. 
and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so, amen. Behold, he come with clouds. Those are the chariots, okay? When you go into Second Ezra, chapter 13, 6 and 7, Behold, and I beheld Slakia, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain. This is talking about the chariot. And flew up upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven. And I could not because it was so big. And we always use the Independence Day example where this huge chariot, you know, um, covered the earth okay and this is when you watch that movie man you see the size the magnitude you can't you know it's as if you can't see where the ending and the beginning of it is it's so big and out of it cometh you know many chariots man psalms chapter 68 and verse 17 the chariots of yahweh are twenty thousand even thousands of angels the Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels, man. So when Yahweh returns, it's going to be a fleet, armada, like the, uh, go back here. Heading towards Earth, that is the heading towards Earth. Telescope detect that is heading towards Earth. From gitbook.io, the James Webb Telescope had spotted an armada of alien ships heading toward Earth. At an armada, a fleet, a big, huge fleet, man. And it's not going to be, they're not coming here to, to shake hands and, well, let me show you. No, man, let me show you. They're going to be getting down, they're going to be destroying, they're going to be killing, okay? much death okay let me get to this real quick second kings chapter 2 and verse 11 and it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold there appeared and this is elisha and elijah appeared a chariot of fire and i remember when i was back in barbados this is like 1988 87 somewhere around there i have the uh the documents um, the chariots that we seen, it was three chariots, right? And they're of fire, it, like a fire enfolding on itself. And the three chariots, they turned into one, meaning the two on the, the one in the middle, the two on the side of them, right? On each side went into the middle one and it didn't change side. It didn't get bigger. It didn't do nothing. It just, they just all went right into the same one. A fire enfolding on itself. And, but there was no flames dropping or nothing like that. And when you read the reports, many people have rec uh, recorded to the U.S. government that it was uh, flying balls of fire. Okay? So, continuing. There appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up. By a whirlwind into heaven, and Elisha saw it, and he cried, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariots, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his clothes and rent them in two pieces. Okay, so there you go. You know, these chariots are coming to destroy, they're coming to give salvation, they're coming to get down. All right? This is why in Wisdom of Solomon, let me get this real quick. The strangeness of their salvation. Like Elisha, he, Elijah, he was taken up. Right? And this time, when you see that, you'll be like, whoa, what kind of strange thing is this? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor labors when they see it they shall be troubled with 
terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so as far beyond all that they looked for. Okay, the strangeness of his salvation is going to be taken up in those chariots. Those very same things that we see in the sky, you know, glowing and dipping and making fast movements and whatnot. Yes, the chariots of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, Yahweh Shai said that he's going to send his angels to save his elect, right? What are they going to do? Just appear and... No, they're going to appear. The chariots are going to appear. And at that time, those who need to be saved, they will be saved. Simple and plain. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse uh, 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a, with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, chariots, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Okay? Why is it telling you that we shall be caught up with them in the clouds, talking about the chariots, to meet the Lord in the air? Where's the, where's the chariots? The chariots are in the air. Okay? Flying in the sky. So this is a, a concrete proof, okay? This is concrete proof. But most of y'all individuals, you know, you, you need physical things to grasp on, to believe something. Well, in that day, you're going to you gonna, you gonna get to see physical things, all right? You won't get to see some physical things. Uh, Hebrews 10 and 37. For yet, you know what? Actually, let me, let me go... Hebrew, uh, Habakkuk, you know what? Even in Habakkuk right here. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, yes. Habakkuk. Chapter 3 and, uh, yep. 4. His coming is as brilliant as the sun, sun rays. Uh, his coming is as Brilliant as the sun rays, ray, sun ray, rays of light flash from, rays of light flash from his hands, where his awesome power is hidden. It's talking about the chariots getting down, man. Laser zapping people, okay? But going back into this Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. The vision, that, that vision right there where the Lord is going to be getting down, Zapping, wapple zapping people, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, elect being saved, Lord will that we be. That vision, right? This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently for it will surely take place. Wait patiently for it will surely take place. Lakia. Okay, now let's go to another scripture. Let's go to Hebrews. Why is that damn TV so loud, man? I just lowered down the damn thing and it's... <coughs> Hebrews 10 and 37. Let me go lower that down because I don't want to get slapped with some kind of copyright. Never know. You saw slick. You, you hear that music in the background? Slap him with a copyright. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Hebrews ten and uh, thirty-seven. For in just a little while, the coming one will what? Coming one will come and not delay. Slack here. Let me get in King James. For yet a little while, and he that and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Yeah, Yahweh is on his way. Okay. This vision to come. The chair is getting down. You know, this, this isn't this isn't a joke. This is something that is surely gonna happen. Okay. Um 4 and 26, second Ezra chapter 4 and 26. Then answered he me. And, and said, 
the more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hasteneth fast to pass away. Right, this place is at its end, man. And at the end, what's going to happen? The Lord's return, okay? And the Lord is going to return with these chariots, with the angels, right? Getting down, whooping ass, all right? Second Ezra 14, last scripture. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 8. For the time is fled far away, and leasin is hard at hand. For now hasteneth the vision to come, which thou hast seen. Right, and Yahweh Shai coming back with the chariots, the angels, getting down, whooping ass, man. Okay. So this fleet that uh Siri or Alexa was talking about that the James Tubble what what is let me see. Yeah, the James Webb telescope detected that's heading towards Earth. That's how we shine them. Okay? <laughs> so hey man. We wanna believe it or not, we don't care. Okay? Lord is Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, man. And Romans chapter three, you're not gonna damage our faith, man. Okay, we're going to continue to believe in Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, because we see and we do know. Okay, it's been made manifest unto us, but unto y'all people in the world, nah, you don't know, you don't know a damn thing, okay? So with that, hey, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostle, elders of great millstone that rule well, peace, citation, Unto all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. I hope you're edified. Lord willing, to the next time. Wah abad babal. Shalom.